Hello everyone and welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm glad you're here. For this next far side fan art piece, I started out with just a square block of two by four and I cut some marker paper to put on a piece of foam board to attach to the back. After getting the paper attached to the foam board, it was time to attach the foam board to the wooden block. I decided to use some nails. With that part done, it was time to cut a piece of XPS foam to create just a little bit of terrain for the piece. With the foam cut to the right size, then it was time to wear the edge down a little bit with just ripping off some pieces with pliers. And once that was done, I took it out into the garage and I sanded it down a little bit to round off some sh sharper, rough edges. I used PVA glue or Elmer's glue, cheap version, to glue it to the piece of wood. Before the glue was dry for holding the foam on, I decided to put the Mod Podge paint mix on so that it could all dry at the same time. Now that that was all dry, it was time to figure out the wire armatures and get the oven baking clay put onto the wire. I straightened the pieces of wire out so that it would be easier to roll out the clay and put the wire inside the clay and then recoil them back up. Getting the wire to go down into the cut in the clay was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. With the wire finally inside the clay, it was time to coil it back up into the shape that it needed to be. I did the second one of the large snakes uh, off camera. For the smaller snake, uh, it was smaller diameter, so it was more difficult to get the wire inside. I tried a couple different ways, ended up doing it the same way I did the big ones. As you can see here, I split the roll of clay into two pieces, tried laying the wire in between it and then sandwiching it together like a big submarine sandwich. That didn't work. So I stripped it off and did it the same way I did the bigger ones.
getting the wire to go into this one was just as difficult as the big ones. Once the wire was inside it, I had to roll it a little bit to smooth it back out and get it back into the right shape. And then it was time to coil it up like the other two. Once they were done baking in the oven, it was I had to still put some things together and for the baby snake i actually used a just a piece of wire to put the tail in separate and then i used a spring out of a old pen for the head which was going to be totally separate from the rest of it then it was time to paint them and each snake had its own specific pattern I started out with just a base layer of brown on the snakes and while they were drying, I put the same brown on the base. While the bottom side of the snakes were drying, I put on some tan and orange and yellow to just kind of give some color variation to the base. Here I'm just painting on a grayish brown stripe that goes the entire, all the way around the whole snake, right in the middle. Then I painted a black zigzag stripe over top of the uh, gray brown stripe. Above the black zigzag, I did gray brown diamonds. Below the black zigzag, I did reddish brown diamond I painted the second big snake off camera I tried using my alcohol markers on the background, but I think they're starting to get dried out and they didn't work very good. I ended up using oil pastels over the marker. Once that sky was done, I used some Mod Podge to put on some small stones and a little bit of sand. Now I'm at the point where I need to assemble everything. I put the pen spring on a bamboo skewer. The clay made this, the spring too stiff, so I ended up busting that out of there a little bit at a time, and I replaced it with some cotton 
that I painted over, which was much more flexible. Now I just used some Mod Podge to glue everything in place. Now the spring makes the part go right along with the original cartoon. If you know Far Side, you know the humor. While I glue this piece of paper on with the saying that goes with the cartoon, I'd like to thank everybody for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video.